Hi there and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how you can create teleport ability. So this is the ability that we're going to be creating. Uh, I'm able to teleport ahead as much as I want. And even through, if I'm not hitting anything, I'm still going to be teleporting. And if I hit something, I'm going to be teleporting to that location. Just like that. In order to create our teleport ability, I'm going to be using the third person template. So I just have a template with the third person character and it could also be used in the first person. Uh, there's going to be just a small modification. Uh, actually, it's going to, be, going to be using the camera. So it's going to be almost the same thing for both the uh, first person template and the third person template. So for that, let's go to our character. So just go to content drawer and then third person and blueprints, BP third person like that. So I'm going to be creating over here. First thing that I'm going to be needing is a input. So I'm going to just be get a input action. So for that, let's go into third person inputs over here into action. I'm going to be add anyone. So just go into input, input action. This one is going to be AI underscore, let's say teleport like that. It's going to be of the type boolean. So there's no need to open or change anything there. Now let's go into our EMC file and place it over here. Expand our mappings and add a new one, a new actual mapping. Let's select that one, AI teleport, like that. Now save it and you don't need to add any modifier. I'm going to only be using uh, to be adding the key input for this. This could be any push that you want. I think I'm going to be using the letter E. Uh, but again, could be any input that you want, it's up to you which one you want to be used for this ability. Then save it. Now let's go into our BP third person template. And over here I am already adding this mapping context, so don't need to do anything like that. So I'm going to just be getting this AI teleport, so just play get over here, teleport, like that. And then from the trigger I'm going to be creating the event for this. First thing that I'm going to be needing is a line trace, line trace by channel. And just be careful, I'm not using the mush line trace by channel, it's just the line trace by channel. The channel, I'm going to be using visibility, so just leave it like that, then place on trigger. If you don't know, this basically, what I'm using this is to basically create a line between a certain point to the other. So for the starter point, I'm going to be using the camera. It's going to be the same thing if I use the, the, the first person template. Then from this, I'm going to get word location. And this is going to be our start. And then uh, to get the end location, I'm going to get the camera once again, place it down here. And I'm going to get forward vector. And then from the forward vector, I am going to be multiplying it. Now let's convert this to a float. So right click inside in this pin and just select to float like that. This value is something that we need to adjust to see what would be the best value for this teleportability. I think I'm going to be using 500 at the start. I think it's just too slow, but too, too small, but just to show you. And then from the third location, I'm going to just be get a plus a add function, adding these two vectors and then place as our end. So just to display to you, I'm going to expand this and I'm going to be drawing the book type, select for duration. And yeah, that should be it to display it to you, compile it, save it. So basically what this is going to do is now when I press that key, as you can see, yeah, it's a lot because I have placed this on trigger. I think I'm going to be leaving this on release it. Yeah, so just break this link, leave this on completed like that. Compile, save it, let's do it again. Yeah, so now it's only one. Uh, so basically what this is doing is that it's getting the location of our camera, not our character, but the camera itself. That is uh, uh, where you are seeing things in your game, your simulation right now. And is basically creating a line, a forward line to a certain distance. Right now it is 500. If I go into here and I make it, let's say twice this value, Let's just place it as 1000, compiler. As you can see, the distance has doubled. 
Of course, you need to place this distance as much as you want. It's up to you uh, how much you want this uh, teleport ability to be. Let's say if you want 5,000, 5, that would be cool. It's up to you. And of course, if it, it collides with something, it's going to detect that collision. Uh, so I'm going to be creating a function to teleport for both cases. So when it's not colliding with anything and when it's colliding with something. So for that, I can detect if it is colliding with something or not just by getting this return value. I'm going to be creating a branch for this, like that. And this from this out hit, I'm going to be break this hit result. And I am going to get a function that is set after location. This one over here. The target is going to be self. And the location, in the case of true, that would be when it has hit something. So let's say hit a wall or something like that. Then I'm going to be expanding this and getting this location into here. And then teleport like that. And in the cases, yeah, let me show, just show you what would be happening so that you can see. So now if I go into our world, if I hit something, I would be teleporting to that. If I'm not hitting anything, I'll not be teleporting. Um, but in the case where I want to, let's say, I'm not hitting something, but I still want to teleport to that location, I am going to get another one of those. Place this as the false function, but I'm not going to be using this pin location. Instead, I'm going to be getting the location from here, from this addition, just place into here. Let's get a root node down here and here, like that. Compiler, save it. And now let's go back to our words. And as you can see, I'm teleporting even when I'm not hitting anything. And if I hit something, I'm going to be teleported to that location, following the, fo following the forward vector of our camera. So. Uh, I think I'm going to be increasing this, let's say, by 3000, like that. Compile it, save it. Just let's go again. So as you can see, this is, I am teleported to, our, to the wall. If I go up there, as you can see, 3000 is quite good. And again, just teleport the deck. I'm not going to be displaying this line trace by chain, so I'm going to be removing that now. To remove that, let's go back to our BP third person. And then over here into draw the book type, I am going to be selecting none like that, compile it, and I to just make things a little bit easier. I'm going to be creating a variable for this. So from this float value, I'm going to be getting and promote to a variable. This variable is going to be let's say distance teleport like that, and then I'm going to be dragging this. Uh, yeah, exactly there already. So now, if you want to change the distance to teleport, you can change it right here without the need to go back into this function to specifically change that. And yeah, that should be good. Uh, so this is our teleport ability. Show bubble like that. Compile it, save it. Let's just see it again. So I'm able to teleport just like that. Yeah, uh, so thanks a lot for watching, and I think with this ability you're able to implement teleporting functions in your game. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll into this course to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.